hi guys welcome to our channel today i'm going to be showing us on how to deposit and withdraw from centralized exchange and we are going to be using gate.io as our reference okay so once you whichever account that you have you've created your account you verified you've completed your authentication it's probably sim card verification okay so the next thing to do is to come and click on wallet click here the bottom right icon bottom right icon once you click on wallet it will show you your different wallets you can see your sports margin features quant warrant financial account and open account now for binance you'll be seeing features margin funding wallet p2p wallet and so on okay but this is gate.io now you can quickly deposit and withdraw using this to it's handy here deposit and withdraw okay so if you want to deposit we we'll click on deposit and once we we'll click on deposit we will select the coin we want to deposit or we can search for it probably want to deposit eth we'll search for eth here and click on eth as you can see we have different networks all these things are network with which you can use to send ethereum bsc echo arbitrum now you can use any of these addresses each of them will generate for you a different address entirely each of them will generate for you a different address entirely now if the person who is sending the crypto to this exchange probably sending the ethereum if the person is close by the person can just scan the person can just scan this QR code and the person is good to go remember that the person who is depositing need to indicate or need to indicate that he is sending to an ERC wallet if it's BSC you indicate you are sending to a BSC wallet if it's HECO you indicate you are sending to a HECO wallet Okay, just that simple you copy the address click on copy and send to whosoever is sending it or use a scan and let's use a different coin so we'll click deposit and we we'll search for usdt which is a stable coin as theta you can see that theta has so many chains it has so many chains now each of these chain have their different because this is receiving now each of these chain has their different gas fee that's transaction fee for sending but this only apply to the person that is sending so we are going to elaborate more on that when we are talking about withdrawal deposit is bring putting money or sending money into the wallet while withdrawal is sending it out of the wallet okay so as you can see they have different chains Make sure that when you are sending your address, you indicate the chain of the address that you are actually sending. Then we can see, you can see withdrawal, click on withdrawal. Once you click on withdrawal, you'll be asked which token do you want to withdraw. So you can search for the token you want to withdraw. Let's say I want to withdraw Rich Quack. See, Rich Quack is only available on BSC. Rich Quack is only available on BSC. So at this, I can use this place to scan. I can use this place to scan. As you click on that feature, it's going to scan. Okay. 
then if you're not scanning if your if the address was sent to you you also click here you also click here for you to be able to paste the address now gate.io gives you the opportunity to save the name probably is a, is someone you will need to be sending doing transaction recurrently with the person you can actually save the person's name and whenever you want to do transaction you can come back and without asking the person for um, address so here you can come and input the quantity you want to sell the quantity you want to withdraw you can click on all you can type the amount you want to sell and as you can see um, as you can see there this is the available coin this is the commission this 12 percent is the commission now you look at the withdrawal notice in a single transaction you can withdraw minimum of this maximum of this enter the coin quantity and recipient address and that's what i just did make sure you double check the address after successful withdrawal the address will be reminded by the system add address name can help you mark your address exactly what i said so you can see this is the total um, coins that you have and this is the percentage 12 percentage withdrawal fee so if you are withdrawing quack from this exchange you'll be charged 12 percent 12 percent of whatever you are sending so be very very conscious of that well if you want to withdraw let's say usdt If you want to withdraw USDT, we'll choose the ad, we'll choose the network of the address we are sending, whether it's Algo, Polygon, Heco. Or whichever one. Then like I said, you can use this place also to scan or use here to input the address uh, to paste, put the name, quantity, and so on. Now there are some there are some um exchanges. There are ways to bypass gas fee. Like you can see the network here is the network here is Omni. And you can see that Omni is charging you a gas fee of zero percent. We can see Ethereum. Let's check out Ethereum. So you can see that Ethereum is charging you zero commission. Okay, let's use one that we have to balance. Let's say Kishi Inu. See, once you click on the spot wallet, you can also come here to, to withdraw. As you can see, on each token that you own, you can see withdrawal and deposit. Okay, so let's just look at um, Kishi Inu because it's on Ethereum. We click on withdrawal. So this is what I want to show us. For commission, you put two percent. Always look at it. So if you're kind of selling to someone, you add the two percent in the gas fee, and the person should know what he or she is expecting to receive. Okay, this is just this works for every other exchange. Come to your wallet, click on withdrawal or deposit and go ahead to copy the address and send or copy your address and send that's exactly how it works i'm going to stop here if you have any other questions let us know on the comment section below